boys and girls, I'm back with my little caterpillar. Remember, this one converts because the caterpillar eats and eats and eats and eats and eats and it grows and it goes into a chrysalis and after it's all done growing inside the chrysalis, it becomes a beautiful butterfly. And you just saw me drawing the parts of the butterfly. Remember we talked about it needed its head and it needed its body and that a butterfly is symmetrical. See how it has the two wings at the top, the bigger ones and the two smaller? Makes me think of a doubles equation. Two plus two equals four. There is math everywhere. Look at his eyes. One plus one equals two. Another doubles equation. And when that butterfly comes out, it would have, can't see it now, three legs on this side and three legs on this side. What's that equation? Three plus three equals six. So even a butterfly, lots of nature has lots of things we can learn about math. And of course, it's symmetrical. See where they put the red dots? Same on both sides. If I fold it up, this side is exactly the same as this side. There's symmetry in a lot of things in nature. You might actually start seeing more of it now when you look. Two things that are things that are exactly the same on each side are symmetrical. Do you remember the song we sang? First comes the butterfly who lays an egg. Out comes the caterpillar with many legs. Oh, see the caterpillar spin and then a little chrysalis to sleep in. Oh, 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 look and see. Oh, 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 look and see. Out of that chrysalis, my, oh my, out comes a beautiful butterfly. Very nice. Now, boys and girls, you worked on making your butterfly, or you will later. Oops, wrong paper. Let's try this one. I can't wait to see them when they're finished. Take your time. Enjoy it. I think it was fun. The other thing that you can keep doing for math today is working again on that making 10 game. There's lots of ways to change the way to play, and I can't wait to hear about it. I know I might not see much. Some of you might have sent me some equations or maybe just a note saying I played the make 10 game. Okay? You decide how to show it to me. But this is a good one to practice. And for today, I'm not going to assign any math. We're going to talk about this chart. We've done some like this at school, but not for a while. So I know you can read this first word, A. Hmm. If I cover this up, you can do the sounds. B, uh, s, er, you know it, a butterfly, a butterfly. And then we have three words here. Can, that's a sight word, is, and has. We're going to use this so that you can each make one sentence on a paper for me. So you don't have to write this. This is just to look at. I'm gonna do the writing. You ready? Okay. So let's start with can. If I was going to make a sentence using the word can, it would be a butterfly can. I hear some of you giving me ideas. That's right, fly. I'm gonna do that. You work on telling me the letters to write. That's right, F. Fly. This time the I is made with a Y. A butterfly can fly. A butterfly can. Hmm. Well, ooh, it can sip like it would sip the nectar. S-I-P. Sip. Spell it for me. S right, S. S-I-P. You 
got it. So we made up two. A butterfly can fly or a butterfly can sip. Let's do the is. A butterfly is, hmm, I could write a lot. A butterfly is an insect. So we'd have to do an insect. Okay, an, an, an. Then we leave our space, insect, in. Oh, you know, in, i, n, in, insect. A butterfly is an insect. Hmm. A butterfly is, oh, here's a big word. Oh, yes, you know what I'm thinking. Zip. Oviparous, big word. A butterfly is an insect. A butterfly is oviparous. This one is a good one too. Huh, as. A butterfly has, I'm going to do wings. We know what. Ing, ing, that's a chunk we know. Ing, how do we spell it? I hear you. I N G. Do I want to write a butterfly has wing? No, I want it to say wings. So I add an S. A butterfly has, they have eggs. Sure. A butterfly has eggs. A butterfly has, ooh, six. What do you think I'm going to write? Six legs. L egg. L egg. Six leg. Oops, sorry. Six legs. Have to add that S. Now, this is your job. Don't do this. Your job is going to be to take a blank paper. I'm going to cover it up for a minute. And you are going to pick a sentence. Sorry. I could do a butterfly can fly. A butterfly has wings. You could make up your own using can, is, or has. I'm going to do a butterfly can sip. So I'm going to put this here. And I'm going to write it near the bottom. So I can really copy it. Let's see if you can see this. I'm going to start here, not too close to the bottom. A the word butterflies at the top. Your mom or dad can freeze this and you can pick what you want to write. A butterfly. A butterfly. Now I need the word can. So I'm going to leave space. K and a butterfly can. And I'm going to put sip, but I don't have room here. So now I'm going to go way over to this side. And at the end of my sentence, I'm going to put a period. Now, if you are one of those children who want to do more than one sentence and keep going, that's fine. But what I want you to do in the end is to come up here and illustrate it. So if I did a butterfly can sip, well, my illustration, let's see. I don't have a good green, but might be... You know what I'm making? I'm going to make a flower. Here's my flower. And I'll make a center. But the butterfly, this red doesn't have a ton of good colors today. I'm going to sit my butterfly right here. And there he is, sipping on the flower. A butterfly can sip. You can choose any of these that you want. Or if you want to be really brave and make up your own sentence, I'm okay with that too. But I'd like to see today is your butterfly picture and 
your paper using this chart. A butterfly can, or a butterfly is, or a butterfly has. You only have to build one sentence and draw a picture to match it. If you want to write, a butterfly can sip from a flower and has two wings, be brave. I know you can do it. You do so much. And I hope it's fun for you, because it's fun for me to do these for you every day. You ready? Hmm. Let's sing our goodbye song. And tomorrow, I'll see you again. I have another video for you this afternoon, too, about a butterfly. Make sure you check it out, because this one, I think, I think it's the butterfly. I mean, I think, yeah, it's the caterpillar and the polywog. Do you know what a polywog is? Watch today's story time. Ready? See you later, alligator. After a while, crocodile. In an hour, sunflower. Maybe two, kangaroo. Gotta go, buffalo. Adios, hippos. Chow, chow, brown cow. See you soon, baboon. A do cockatoo, fetter swish, jellyfish, chop, chop, lollipop, gotta run, skeleton, bye bye, butterfly, better shake, rattlesnake, goodbye, my good friends. Goodbye, my friends. Have a great day. Do things you love and grow your brain. See you tomorrow.